Hello and welcome back to Danganronpa with friends and family and uh, other things that start with F. Hi, how are we all? Well, it's been a while since we played this, eh? Yeah, it's been a while. Uh, let, let's let's just say this now. Happy fourth. It's not the fourth. It's the fifth. But that'll give you a good idea of how long ago that we actually recorded this. Don't you mean Happy Canada Day? Why are you so fucking into the U.S.? But it was like that was like a week ago. That's, they didn't know that till now. Well, I was not really celebrating Happy Canada Day that day. I was celebrating the NHL free agency. I see, I see, I see. The important things. Like a true Canadian. So we last left off at the end of Daily Life for Chapter 1. And we're starting the investigation. And you had a theory on who might have done it. Okay, so here's my thing. I think it's Hitler Youth. Um, whose name I don't remember, but I think we can all assume we know who Hitler Kiyotaka. Youth is. Kiyotaka. Kiyotaka. Or Taka for short. Yeah, Taka. I mean, I mean, I think we can all... And here's why. The people who showed up late... That's, like, a little too freaking obvious, right? You know what I mean? Like, no one who just committed a murder would do that. He was the only one that showed up bright and early. If you're going to commit a murder, you need to look as least suspicious as possible. And he seems like he's such a straight edge, but it, he also seems like he's in a small box that's waiting to break. Um, that he's so wound up. And that, you know... It's hard to totally disagree with that. Um, so... You think it's Kiyotaka as the killer. I do. I, I'm not saying I think it for sure, but at the same time, I really, I mean, I think this is by far the strongest possibility. And it also needs to be someone with a lot of physical strength. And while he's not, you know, Olga, he's, uh, you know, the beast. Okay. Um, in female form. So we're going to go through deadly life and then the trial. Um, when I opened my eyes, I found myself staring at a huge ceiling. It was a ceiling I remembered seeing before. And when I sat up, I saw someone looking at me. Again, it was someone I'd seen before. Ah! Ah! You're awake! Finally! Are you okay? Now knows time. Now's no time for sleeping. Get your ass up! Huh? Uh um, you unconscious, dude. I had to carry you back here. Well, it's no surprise considering what happened. Wow. You are not going to give that up, are you? <laughs> no, it's going to be for the whole fucking let's play. What happened? <laughs> that is definitely what Makoto sounded um, like. Hey, are you okay? So, uh, it wasn't a dream? What I saw. It was real? Hmm. That's right. It really did happen. Sayaka is dead. Why did she bleed pink? That's what I want to know. Oh, censorship in Japan. Oh, okay. In order to get it, like, like the I equivalent just, of, like, a T-rating or something, they made it... I just thought she was so poppy that, you know, she literally had... She was so candy pop, she literally had become candy. Uh, well, oh, she also might have just been taking a lot of Pepno Abysmal. Yeah, maybe. Or some other illegal substance. A deep, dark despair worked its way through my body, then exploded out of me. I shot up and took off running. Hey, where do you think you're going? I have to see it for myself. I have to see if Sayaka is... Sayaka is... Just give up. You can check once, twice, a thousand times. Sayaka is completely in irrevocably dead. Irrevocably. Great. No, I have to see for myself. Why? Listen to us, man. What, what do you think is going to happen if you go out there? Well, what good is it going to do just sitting around here? I mean, why are we all hanging around the gym at a time like this? Is she going to get punched out again? Sayaka, she's... She's dead. Dead. Your friend Sayaka. No one else really liked her. What? How do you know? That's what it seemed like. She, she was clinging to... Uh, to Makoto. Like, when I said that, it finally hit me. I realized she was gone. Calm down. None of us want to be here right now, either. Then why? Sh shouldn't it be obvious? M Mukuma? Monokuma. Monokuma, sorry. Mukuma? <laughs> <laughs> no, I thought he was, she was trying to say Makoto, but like... Oh. I, M Monokuma, he told us all to come here. Well, hold on. Don't talk like that. We all protested it. 
I mean, we remember the terrible price Sayaka had to pay. So, so, someone, but... someone looks guilty. So... Hitler Youth already looks guilty. I'm the one who convinced them to come. Right now, we need to do whatever he says. We're his prisoners, right? It's not a good idea to defy him without reason. Correct. We don't need any more sacrifices than we already have. Why should we listen to anything he has to say? It's obviously, it's obvious he's the one who killed Sayaka. Wrong. Oh, I would never do that. You can believe anything, you can believe that. <laughs> he's here again. Hey, um... Unless someone violates school regulation, I absolutely will not interfere. I can promise you, I won't do anything that goes against the purpose of your school life here. Listen up! I'm famous at safari parks throughout the world for following the bare time one rule. But then who did it? Who killed her? Come on! You already know the answer. Hitler Youth. The one who killed her is one of you. Hitler Youth killed her. Nobody had a reply for that. One of us killed Sayaka? Don't be stupid, that's... Hmm, what's the matter? You all, all you guys look like you're about... You guys all look like you're about to see a dove get shot up with a Gatling gun. That would be exciting to see. It's an awfully specific. <laughs> I'm sure he's done it before. Don't you remember what I told you when this all began? Yahoo! One of you, one of you decided, si one of you decided to kill Sayaka so that you could graduate. Someone's just following the rules. There's nothing wrong with that. Well, you're lying, right? <laughs> you have of a course great he's voice. Lying. Huh? You have a great nerdy voice. What are you talking about? <laughs> I have a. This is my normal voice. Everything else is just me p pretending. Then, then God help you. Of course he's lying. I'm telling you, he killed her. Wrong! Nope, sorry, one of you is now a bona fide killer. If they wanted to, the one who did it could testify that little fact. <coughs> what? Without thinking, I looked around at everyone. They all they all had the same look on their faces. Everyone looked at each other with a combination of fear, suspicion, and confusion. Uh, um, are, are you serious? What, what is someone this? Someone killed someone? <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Yelty he is. It is. It is amazing what some people are capable of. Just hold hey, on. Hey, hold on. Don't just assume he's telling the truth. Stop talking. Cause That's what's his, enough. Because what's his face was so fucking smooth and cool until... You know what I mean? Like, up until now. Before we do anything else, I'd like to confirm something with the stuffed animal here. We'll go through the investigation and you can give more opinions <coughs> on how you think this has developed. Hmm. If one of us really did kill her, that person gets to graduate from the school, right? Huh? Huh? Come on. Don't play dumb. That's what you said, isn't it? If you kill someone, you get to leave. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you laughing? It's cuz. Naive. You're just so naive. You really think it's that easy? You can just kill someone and waltz on out of here. Hey! It's, you're super naive. Now. Devilishly naive. Hellishly naive. No, no, no. The real thing has just begun. The real thing? Now then. Are you ready? Allow me to explain the second part of the rule regarding graduation. Just like I explained before, you must kill someone if you want to leave. However, if you do that, there's still one more part to the agreement you have to uphold, remember? Then perhaps you are referring to rule number six of the school regulations. If you are blackened that committed the murder Oh, if you are the blackened that committed the murder you can't be found out by the other students. That is what you are talking about, is it not? In other words... Bingo! It's not enough to just kill someone, you have to actually get away with it. Which naturally means you need a system in place to assess whether or not it's been gotten away with. Yahoo! So a certain amount of time after a murder has taken place, a class trial will begin. C class trial? Hmm. Yep, it will begin in a few hours after the murder. Everyone will gather together, including the black who committed the crime, and they and the spotless students will engage in one big debate showdown. During the trial, you'll have to present your arguments about who you think the blackened is. And once everything comes to an end, the outcome will be decided by popular vote. If the answer you've arrived at is correct, only the one that disturbed your peace will be punished. The rest may continue their communal life. However, if you choose poorly, then the one who got away with murder will survive, and the rest 
rest of you will receive your punishment. Which, of course, means your school life will come to an end. As far as class trial rules go, that's all there is to it. Well... So, basically, they have to figure out who did it or everyone else dies. <laughs> that's good. So, um, what exactly is this punishment you keep talking about? Hmm. Oh, well, to put it simply, what? it's execution. <laughs> oh, and if they don't get away with it, the black one gets executed. <laughs> execution? What? And by execution, you mean? Execution is execution. Electric chair, <laughs> poison gas, <laughs> torn apart like a paper plane in a hurricane. So, so to make sure I understand, if we get the culprit right, then only they die. But if we get it wrong, then all the rest of us get executed? Well. What a smart little chimpanzee you are. Look at you implying you didn't do it without actually saying it. <laughs> I told you! So it's basically what the outside world calls lay judge system, or an inquis inquisition type thing. Which means you'll be deciding who you think the killer is. But judge carefully because all your lives are on the line. Okay, let me just add that rule I just described to your handbook. Make sure you keep it in mind. No, uh, a new handbook rule has been added. Wait, hold on a second. The hell are you talking You're freaking insane, you know that? Huh? What the? A class trial? What the hell is that? I don't want anything to do with it. What's this? Why not? Stop it! What do you mean, why not? Why do I have to waste my time trying to figure out who murdered someone? What? What? Are you saying you're not going to participate in the trial? Only punishment awaits such blasphemy. What the hell are you talking what about? What punishment? Hmm. I might, I don't know, throw you in a deep, dark, scary prison or something? Shut the hell up! <laughs> Shut the hell up! Say whatever you want, I'm not going to be a part of this. I don't do. be so selfish! Stop it! You're the one being selfish. Kill whoever you want, it's got nothing to do with me. <laughs> the evil standing here before me, I'm trembling with fear! Shing. But I won't give in to such evil! It's my style to stick it out and resist till the very end. If you really want to get out of here, you'll have to go through me first. As he said that, he came charging at us, so it was more of a waddle. But then... Are you enjoying yourself now? Are you? Hmm? Violence against Headmaster Monokuma is not allowed! You violated a school regulation! I invoke the mighty summon spell! Help! To me! Godly Spear Gunnier! Alright. Well. Another one's dead. Yep. What? Huh? I think this is probably voiced. This wasn't supposed to. Why? I liked her too. When I first played this, she was my favorite character initially. Really? And then this happened. <laughs> yeah. Psycho was mine. And just, ugh. Well, they, they do do a good job of putting her front and center for a while to make you like her, and then proceed to kill her right away. <laughs> it would be worse, though, is to wait, um... To the very end? Yeah, yeah, just kill her at the last ooh, ooh, moment. Ooh, ooh. That'd be meaner. I don't know, some popular characters go out near the end. Though popular, it means nothing to you, because your opinions will probably differ. Mm. Suddenly, right at the end, her eyes shot wide open. And just like that, she never moved again. No way! What the... I don't... Uh, th this can't be real. <laughs> no way! Well now. Oh, I am painfully aware of the great power and meaning of the promise. I hope he doesn't survive. Who? Are, so are there totally separate characters in the next game? Next version? The next game has a completely new cast of characters. Okay, okay. I really want to keep a corpse from popping up for no good reason, you know? I have to really phrase everything I say about this game really carefully. Because if I say something that is... I, have, I want to be honest about it, and I also don't want to spoil anything. Because... I told you this before, but this is one of those games that 
Simply, like, you watch an episode on YouTube, and then imagine just, like, you watch an episode of something, or something relating to it. Then in your, like, recommended videos, you see something, so-and-so's execution, and it's like, the fuck? <laughs> I didn't get there yet! <laughs> Alright, let's go. I really want to keep, uh, I want to, really wanted to keep a corpse from popping up for no good reason, you know? Yeah. But I guess you all needed to be taught a lesson, after all. Ah, what an amazing promise. But now you guys understand, right? Now you see just how serious I am. Defy me and you get shot full of holes, exploded, buried alive, disintegrated, etc. So, if you don't want that to happen to you... You know, if I was in charge, I would lead a rebellion. And here's why I would lead a rebellion. Because his entire pleasure about this is watching you fight each other. If he's gonna kill me I at le anyways, I at least want to defy... I at least want to rob him of the pleasure of this little game he's playing. Well, if you let a rebellion, then you... well, you just die. It's That's fine. The thing. They'd all die. Everybody would die involved with it, but... Th that That's more like everyone committing suicide just to spite him at a point. Well, if you're gonna die anyways. Well, I think a lot of them rather try to get out or find a way to get out. I guess at this point they still have the delusion they're getting out. Mm. Well, you don't know the ending to the game, so who knows? Maybe. Maybe you, that is the better course of action. So if you don't want that... I think he actually said that out loud. Junku's body had been impaled by a bunch of spears. An unbelievable amount of blood started pouring out of her body. Oh, that pepno abysmal. You could <laughs> you, that would get you a bit of money. It was the first time I'd ever seen the moment someone's life came to an end. Nobody there could deny what they'd seen. Junko, who had, until just a second ago, been our friend, was dead. She died. Now she can, Now he can see a Thestriel she from Harry Potter. Murdered. Who? A Thestriel. Or a Thestriel, a Thestal. I have no... I don't know... You know, the, the dead things that you can only see if... Like, they pull the oh, carriages. Oh, the, the horsey thingies. Yeah, that you go and see if you've you seen someone die. I like those horsey thingies. I've seen someone die. In simple... Oh, uh, uh... In simple terms, it was the death of a human being. Hey, um... It's not really all that shocking. She just died, that's all. Just went and died. It's no more remarkable than the inevitable demise of the entire human race. It's just as natural as the eventual end of the world itself. <laughs> this isn't some superhero comic. It's not like when you die, you, do re you didn't really die. This is reality. Why? Why did you have to kill her? Didn't you say you would put her in prison or something? Hmm. I changed my mind. I knew it. No, you've been wanting to kill this entire time. Say what? Kill this entire time? Don't be silly. You can't kill time. Or are you being metaphorical? Are you saying I want it to waste time this whole time? Damn it. Come on, what do you take me for? I'm Monokuma! Anyway, none of that matters now. I have something I'd like to give you to help you in your search for the Blacken. This little file is all the information I've gathered about the death in question. I'd like to call it... It's the Monokuma file! This is going to be by far the easiest to get because the person didn't know they had to get away with it and because the person didn't know they had to get away with it, they're going to leave extra traces. I would agree that this is by and far the easiest trial in... The in between the two games. Hmm. I mean, naturally you guys aren't experts at this kind of thing, so you can only do as much with a corpse, because that's one of the reasons I'm going to ask you at the end of the investigation who you think it is. So instead, I've gathered up everything I know about the circumstances and cause of death. Yeah. What's that? How, I know How do I know the cause of death, you ask? Because <laughs> the surveillance cameras picked up the whole thing. I got to see it all go down. So then. Wait, so then you know who killed Sayaka? <laughs> of course I do. If I didn't, I couldn't possibly pass a fair and accurate judgment during the trial, now could I? That's a good point. The judge has to be able to make the proper decision. That's somehow comforting. Well... Now then, please put... Uh, now then, please put your full effort behind your investigation. After all, you don't have any choice but to give it your best shot. Seriously, you don't have a choice. Okay, so we'll meet up for the best trial in a, a little while. And with that, Monokuma disappeared once again. He left us stunned and confused. He left us at a total loss. He left us Junko's dead body getting colder in front of us. And for new for who knows how long, nobody said a word. The fact that Sayaka and Junko were dead was a huge shock, of course. But there's more to it than that. There's also the idea of some uh, that one of us had murdered someone. And that if we didn't find out who it was, we would all die here. We found ourselves in a situation we couldn't help but look at each other with open suspicion. 
It was the worst situation imaginable. Yet, even in such a perversely terrible situation, she didn't show the slightest hint it had gotten to her. Hey, now's no time to wallow in your depression. The worst thing we can do right now is lose all faith in each other. And here's why I don't think it's her. Okay, I'm gonna explain this. You don't think it's her? <coughs> no, and here's why. Because I do this type of shit like when I'm playing Mafia or some game like that. Where I'm like, okay guys, let's do this. And I know sometimes people will turn around and blame that fucking person who's trying to run the entire show. And it just you almost never is. It's almost it's like it's either the sheriff or some innocent bystander. So that's kind of my thought process here. She's not. Gotcha. She didn't do it. She is way too calm to have done it. That's a decent line of logic. Um, that would lead to the same disaster result as having a total faith in everyone else. What? Huh? In other words, cooperation is absolutely key at this point. Who you decide to trust or not trust, of course, up to you. <laughs> Continuing to think about and talk about the deceased certainly isn't going to help anything. What the heck? S saying stuff like that is just... <sighs> How many times... I could have seen... Nah. You think it's her? <sighs> no, and I don't. And it's kind of for the same reason I don't think the other one All was. Alright, okay, continue. Only one of them's guilty. Yeah. How many times... I still think it's Hitler Youth. How many times... Have I told you, anyone who can't adapt will die. Death is the only thing awaiting those are unable or unwilling to adapt. Yeah, she's too fucking obvious. <laughs> if that happens, you only have yourself to blame. That's terrible! What an awful thing to spay. To spay. What an awful <laughs> thing to say, especially after what's happened. Spay a dead corpse. Just a second. <laughs> right now, exposing the killer is the most <laughs> important thing. Because if we don't, we're all going to die here. <laughs> She's right. We need to begin our search right away. Of course. Either way, we can't run away from the situation. So, we have no choice but to move forward. What the heck? What the heck? <laughs> do it? What? We just we, have to do it? We just have to do it, I guess. What other choice do we have? <laughs> no way in hell am I letting someone kill me. All right, damn it, let's do this. We just have to do it. Everyone kept repeating that sentiment. They were using it like a mantra to give themselves strength. On the They're only people who could have committed the crime were the first three people to show up early. And who were they? They were Hitler Youth. They were swim. They were swimming swimsuit pers or swimming. Are we? Yeah. And I don't remember who was the third one. Hina is actually her nickname in this. Hina. Who's the third one? I don't know. I don't remember. It's been a while. Like, yeah. it's been weeks. If we didn't make that clear at the beginning, it's actually it's been like... It's one of those three, and there might have been four, but there's one of those three. But they're right. We just have to do this. No matter how much we don't want to, we have no choice. If that's what it takes to survive, then that's what we have to do. On top of that, there is something I need to find out. I had to know why Sayaka had to die. Why she had to be the one. I'm terrified to find out, but... Still, I have to know. Otherwise, I knew I'd never be able to accept her death. Which is why I don't have any choice. I have to do this. Uh, I think I'm supposed oh. to talk to her. Hmm? Hehe, <laughs> <laughs> so you finally noticed. What the crap? Huh? Noticed what? <laughs> I was looking through the Monokuma film we were a oh. file we received. And I noticed something very obvious and very unusual. Huh? Huh? What are you talking about? <laughs> Go ahead, take a look. Notice anything interesting about where Sayaka died? She died in Makoto's dorm. Ah! But she's right! Hey. Huh? Could it be? All at once, everyone's gaze turned to me. Well, hold on a second, you've got it all wrong. For, for just one night, I traded rooms with her. I did it because... She was afraid. Do you expect us to just believe that? Just tell us the truth? The look in everyone's eyes had done a complete 180 from just a few minutes earlier. The feeling of suspicious and suspicion and fear had returned. In other words, you think I did it? That's a yes. Hey. Before we start searching for Sayaka's killer, we need to decide what to do about securing the crime scene. What do you mean? Hmm. 
You're thinking of putting someone on guard duty so nobody can disturb the area, aren't you? After all, if the corporate decides to destroy the evidence, we're pretty much screwed. Hey. In that case, I don't mind doing it. I don't like having to think anyways. <laughs> I'll let you guys figure out who killed the chick. Okay, then we let Mondo look after the scene. <laughs> well, no, we can't leave just him there. What? What? Why the hell not? Stop talking. Isn't it obvious? If you were the culprit, what's the first thing you would do? By volunteering for guard duty, you're in a position to destroy all the evidence you want. Yeah. Uh, fuck you. So then. Fine. Then I'll stay there on guard. God help him. Guard duty as well. That way, there's no problem. Mm. Two player co-op based defense for <laughs> two of them, but their stats are totally OP. Since we won't be able to help investigate, we're putting our faith in the rest of you. But... I'm still pretty freaked out, but I'll try. I gently place my hand on Junko's life's body, I touch her wrist to check for a pulse, and nothing. She really is dead. There wasn't anything else to say. She was gone. <laughs> I don't know why I even bothered to check. After those industries and losing that much blood, frankly, I'd be shocked if she did survive something like that. Huh? Hold on. <laughs> Hold on, just wait a sec. She, she's dead? Then that means... I mean, everything that's happened so far is real. It's not a joke or whatever. It's really real. Oh, hell no, someone save me. Let me out of here. I love the improvisation. Someone you didn't say hell no, me. you said, oh, hell no. Did I? Yes. Okay, I, I'm just trying to I read. love it, I love it. What's I don't always you, You're just now accepting that? So then. Are we done talking? We need to break, begin our investigation soon. At this point, we should split up. We need to get to the bottom of this and find out who killed Sayaka. We'll have to collect clues to form a foundation, then construct an argument to come to a final decision. If we get this wrong... So... Well, do I really have to say anymore? Perhaps you'll leave. I'd rather you didn't, no. Goodbye. Everyone, pray for good luck. With that, Kyoko hurried out of the gym. Goodbye. I'll be going too. And just like, uh, Kyoko, he was gone before we realized no. it. Oh yeah, I'm on guard duty, huh? Better head to the scene of the crime. Mm. Ah, that's right. Hey, damn it. Let me just say this right now. If whatever son of a bitch did this is here right now, and they're thinking of destroying that evidence, they better not let me find them. I'll skip the trial and cave their goddamn skull in myself. I'm serious, I will fuck them up. Letting his deadly words hang in the air, he and Sakura ran off. So, um... But I mean, we're not detectives or anything. You know? Are we gonna investigate a murder? No, and we're gonna investigate a murder. How do we even do something like that? Anyway... We don't r really have to do anything. And she might have also been another one who's there. No, she wasn't. No, she wasn't. She was a slacker. She showed up last. Yeah, she was a slacker. We that's don't sure. really... Yeah, no one who's a slacker did it. And that's because no one who's a slacker would bother showing up late. We don't really have to do anything in p particular. We, we already know who k killed Sayaka. What are you implying? It was weird. you! I'm telling you, it wasn't me. Don't come any closer to me. Are you gonna kill me next? So, um... Well, I guess it wouldn't hurt to give it a shot to kill her. <laughs> it's oh, not for sure Makoto's guilty yet. Um... That's true. We may as well at least check just to check. <laughs> Even if I w wanted to, I c couldn't help investigate. Aww. Wait, why not? I'm not g good with blood. And all it takes one glimpse, and I black out. Even pink blood? We, we need to test this. She didn't black out when she saw it. She's full of shit. She did something. Um, oh, yeah? Well, whatever. Well, she, the blood <coughs> is on the fucking floor. Are you kidding? Well, whatever. I don't think anyone was expecting much from you anyways. <laughs> all right. I guess I better get going. W wait, don't go yet. You have to hear me out. But it was pointless. Everyone had already left and their parting looks had still filled me with suspicion. Does everyone really think I'm the killer? How did it turn out it like this? It might not be killer. Seriously, it they've all got it wrong. It might not Why be do her. do they have to suspect me? You don't. You think it might be her? Yeah. I mean, I mean, that's just a blatant lie, right? That's just a blatant lie. I have to do something. Otherwise, everyone will. But... Execution. 
execution is yeah, we heard that. Chair. Yep, we heard that. This this can get slightly redundant over time, especially. I can't let that happen. I can't let things turn out the way Monokuma wants. All I have to do is find out who really did it. Who really killed Sayaka. Investigate. Okay. So, this is the investigation aspect of Deadly Life, where basically you go around looking for clues. Can you please lead me in the right direction? I, yeah, I will try to. Generally, the game does a good job of doing that. Uh, we, uh, shoot, probably should have read that. Oh, whoops. Oh, I think there's a, there's a log. Basically, you, you press square, and you can go to system, and go to transcript. Uh, the victim was Sayaka Maizona. The time of death is estimated to be around 1.30 a.m. The body was discovered in Makoto's room in the dormitory. All evidence suggests that the death took place in the bathroom. The cause of death was a stab wound into the abdomen. There was also an injury to her right wrist. Specifically, the wrist appears to have suffered a fracture. Okay, so whoever killed her was strong. We have, a struggle. we have no choice but to push forward to find out what happened. Somehow I have to find out the truth so we can all survive. As for Sayaka, I'd find out how she was killed. Okay, so we get truth bullets as we go through this. And these we can see in here. Eventually these will be used in the trial. They're basically evidence. You'll see what it means later on. Okay, talk to people. <sighs> Don't want to die in here. <laughs> Thank you, blah blah blah, I'm an idiot. I don't care, just get me out of here. He doesn't seem mentally prepared for anything whatsoever. I don't think there's anything in here at the moment. First, uh, first of all, I should head to the crime scene, my room. I won't make any progress without investigating there. All right, it. Okay, so okay, it just fast traveled you there. I better examine the state of my room a little closer. Something uh, new might be revealed. Okay, let me check the button stuff. Okay, so there's a button for. Okay, when you press triangle, it shows you everything that can be looked at. Mm. If it's purple, then it's talking to the person. If it's blue, it's an item. Hmm. Looking at the lint roller, it looks like there's been way less than there was before. Did Sayaka see how dirty my room was and decide to clean up a little? This is the replica Sora I brought back for self-defense. This mean it was used to attack someone. Plus, it's been taken out of the sheath. Actually, you know, just uh, for the trial, I'll have you do it because that one actually requires being actively doing something. Mm -hmm. This you just tell me what. Uh, this one you just tell me what to do. I hadn't actually looked at the blade itself till now. I shouldn't be surprised that it's coated in gold, though. On top of that. Some of the gold coating has come off in parts of the blade and the handle. Yeah, and the handle especially is missing a lot of its coating. I remember the coating sticks to you even if you touch it just a little. Yeah, so there's probably someone. There's a key on the ground has my name on it. This is supposed to be my key. If I remember correctly... Yep. Trade keys. When we switched room, we switched keys too, so she had to keep away. If that's true, how did the killer get in the room in the first place? Could Saika have forgotten to lock the door? No, that seems impossible. Yep. Super concerned about stuff, wouldn't forget it. After saying that, there's no way she would have forgotten to lock it, or opened it for any reason. Maybe maybe she dropped the key somewhere and someone grabbed it or something? No, that's not possible either. Saika was here when we switched rooms. And with how scared she was, she wouldn't have gone walking around. She couldn't have dropped it. How did the killer get in? Check rooms. There are scratches and gouges on my walls and bed. Is that evidence of a struggle? Well, clearly. Or her looks flailing like the, the sword, not the, knowing how to fight. It looks like there must have been some kind of fight in my room. Damn it! I was right there in the other room. If only I heard something, except everything soundproof. Because that's obviously what Monokuma wanted. Wait. That would not have been possible. Huh? huh. Her. It must be Hitler Youth, and here's why. That takes someone who's really strong. A lot of them. Is he the only one who's strong? 
No, but he's the only one who, you know, arrived early, who was strong, I think. Don't you remember? Oh, our rooms are completely soundproof. So, something could happen in the room right next to us, and you have no way of knowing. Well, perhaps this was another of Manakuma's strategy. Create an ideal setting for murder. Yep. Seems likely. Okay. By the way... You know, I realized something when I was on guard duty. The killer could have already destroyed some evidence, right? Before anyone found the body, I mean. There's a trash room here in the dorms, right? They could have tossed some stuff in there. Yeah, that's definitely possible. You son of a that bitch. dirty bastard! If anyone who raises their hand against the woman is scum and deserves death. That's what my brother taught me. You're and because he can't dead. think for himself, you know. So if I ever find that son of a bitch that did this, I'm gonna pound his goddamn face in. But what if it was a girl that did it? Yo. That'll all get sorted out when the time comes. Hadn't <laughs> thought of that one, had ya? Well, I don't think he did. Sakura, do you think I'm guilty too? Hey. I try not to make assumptions like that. I simply don't know whether or not you did this. Hmm. Whatever decision the rest of you come up with, I will follow your lead. I see. Hey. Hey, oh. hey, Kyoko. I quietly called her name while she was investigating the area. But... What are you doing? Isn't it obvious? N no. Not really. Isn't it funny how he has a higher pitch voice than her? <laughs> yeah. I'm searching. Searching? She was down on her knees, carefully ex in I, that, I wouldn't say that's on your knees. But carefully inspecting every inch of my room. Maybe, Makoto, you just want her on her knees. Did you lose a contact or something? I don't know what she's doing exactly, but she seems to be concentrating pretty hard on it. But a few seconds later, she suddenly stood up as straight and said... Listen. Are you a clean freak? Huh? No, I don't think so, but what? Nodding, she glanced around my room one more time. I see. Interesting. What's interesting? Hey. Just as I suspected, there's something very unusual about your room. Unusual? What do you mean? So... I've searched your floor from one corner to another, and I didn't find a single strand of hair. Really? Indeed. Not even one hair from the victim. Not one hair from you, and even though you've been living in here. You know, now that you mention it, I noticed something while I was looking around before. It looked like the lint roller in my room had been used, but I never touched it. Could someone have used it too? Your room didn't have a single hair in it, and someone used your lint roller without your knowledge. In other words, someone other than you came in and scrubbed your room clean. Was it Sayaka or the killer? Well... That's the question, isn't it? Still in the drawer, makes sense. Yo. Seriously, Why? hey, Mondo. You can exactly Why? move for building fucking furniture, right? Oh, so you haven't used yours Why? either? Not just me, nobody's Why? busted theirs out, as far as I know. Actually, we were talking about it yesterday. By the way. None of the guys have opened their toolkits yet, because, like, why the hell would we? <laughs> Toolkit has been added to Truth Bullets. The actual sheath. Plus, the sword's been taken out, so it's just a sheath, but... Some scratches on the sheath. They must have made, been made with something sharp. So how the sheath gets scratched up in the first place? Even if someone used the sword during the struggle, it doesn't make sense for the sheath to be damaged. I mean, if you're going to attack someone with a sword, the first thing you do is unsheath it. A heavy sheath like this will only get in the way. It could just slide off in the middle of the fight. So, why are there scratches on the sheath? The bathroom. And on the other side of this door is an inverse colored image. No, I can't let it get to me. I can't afford to freeze up now. Forcing myself to push my panic down, I stepped into the bathroom. Very pink. Poor girl. Looking at her made it painfully clear it wasn't a dream or an illusion. She had lost everything that made her her. Sayaka. All at once I was overcome with dizziness, nausea, and the urge to burst into tears. But I can't, I can't hesitate now. Why? Why did Sayaka have to die? I have to uncover the truth. I have to find out what happened. I wanted to give up. I wanted to collapse. But that thought held me up and supported me. 
Get to investigate two things. I told myself I couldn't face what I saw, but now is no time to think like that. Pulled the Monokun files to verify what it said. A sharp object into her stomach, killing blow. Whatever they used to kill her, where they get that. It's definitely something I should look into later. Also, according to the Monokuma file, Saka's right wrist is broken. Her wrist does look swollen and bloody, and that's for sure. But there's something sort of glittery on her wrist, too. Right there, where her wrist is all swollen, there's something glittery. Definitely concerns me. Well, it's clearly from the sword. Another thing that concerns me is... There's some blood on her left index finger, but that's about it. The palms of her blood and hands are totally spotless, so I'll come only her finger. Saika's wrist has been added to the Truth Bullets section of your handbook. A stab wound in her stomach is what killed her. When she broke her wrist, it must have happened earlier. I mean, how would you get a wrist broken after she'd already been killed? It's very possible her she broke her wrist during the struggle. The killer attacked Saika in the main room, which is when her wrist got broken. After that, the killer corner in the bathroom, which is where they inflicted the deadly wound. I looked past Saika to the wall behind her. And there I saw... Well, written blood was the numbers 11037. Did Sayaka do this? No. It would seem... It's Koko. It looks like you found it, right Makoto? The bloody numbers. That's most likely Sayaka's dying message. I've never seen something written in blood before. It really was her final message. It's as if she wrote it with, uh, it's as if she wrote it with life itself. Right. Do you often talk like an aspiring poet? But the number she wrote, what do they mean? 11037, I have no idea what they could possibly mean. So... The way she wrote, oh, sorry. The way she wrote the numbers. What are the room numbers? I don't know. Do the rooms have numbers? This we can go outside afterwards. Um, 11073? 11037 is the numbers. The way she wrote the numbers makes me think she wanted to use her body to block them. If she wrote them in that location while she was sitting the way we found her, it means she must have wrote them by turning only her hand towards the wall. That's what it was on her finger. It was the blood from painting it. If you were to write something in that position, do you know what the result would be? The result? Well, think about it. You're not going to tell me? Makoto. You need to uncover the mystery of this case yourself. Otherwise, the case will end and you'll remain unconvinced. I have no idea what you're trying to say, but it's obviously, it's obvious you're not going to tell me. Dying message added to truth bullets. Sounds like Kyoko knows what Sayaka's dying message means. But honestly, I have no idea. Oh, I know who I should talk to. When it comes to numbers, who better to ask than the ultimate programmer? Makoto. There's one th other thing I wanted to ask you about. Do you know how the door to your bathroom got broken? Broken? Oh, you mean how it got what? stuck? Get stuck? Yeah, I guess I'm the only one, but the door doesn't quite fit the frame right? When I first tried to use it, I thought it was locked. But once you learn the trick, it opens no problem. Bathroom door frame. Correct. So, the door doesn't quite fit the frame, huh? But actually referring to the broken doorknob. But I'm actually referring to the broken doorknob. Huh? The doorknob? That's right. You didn't notice? We'll just try closing the bathroom door. I'm sure you'll see right away what I'm talking about. I did, what Koko, I did what Kyoko said and shut the bathroom door. Huh? The doorknob. That wasn't like that before. What the heck? The doorknob's practically about to fall off. So someone forced their way into it. Well, it doesn't look like it was forced, does it? Mm, yeah, that would happen though if you were to bust through it, but yeah. That's how that, w that would happen, because something has to give, right? Well, it's gonna be the wood or the bolt, but why that it, doesn't look like a dead bolt to me, so. Why is it like this? Because it, it no longer, because part of what balances it is what puts it into the wall. 
That's busted then. Someone must have used a screwdriver or something similar to unscrew it. Whatever it was, it's obviously that this was intentional. Okay, so someone used a screwdriver to unscrew it. Okay. To try, they basically literally tried to take off the lock. What? It was intentional? Why would someone want to do that? I don't know, maybe to kill someone. So... I guess maybe they were trying to get the door unlocked and ended up breaking the whole thing. But my bathroom doesn't have a lock on it. One well, of the girls' bathrooms can lock, right? She stood there for a while, lost in thought. Then apparently, stuck with, uh, struck with a sudden realization, she shot a question at me. Just a second. I have one more question for you. You mentioned earlier that your bathroom door would get stuck, right? Did you tell anyone about that? Oh, uh, um, well, I did tell Sayaka about it last night when we switched rooms. So you're saying, so what you're saying is only you and Sayaka knew about that. Mm -hmm. About it. Interesting. She had the slightest hint of a smirk on her face. I got the sense she was really starting to get into all of this. I see. That Then that clears that up. Huh? What clears what up? I'm so lost. Goodbye. Well, see you later. As if forgetting I was ever there, she suddenly turned and left the room. Bathroom doorknob added. I still don't really understand any of this, but I already gave the room a good once over. Maybe I should look around somewhere else. I should start looking for the murder weapon, and also, I have to look into the DVD of Sayaka get. Sayaka looking for the murder weapon was in her fucking body. Where they got the murder weapon. Oh, okay. On top of that, I'm sure there are other areas, etc., etc., etc. So, no, they do not have room numbers. But this is the room we just came out of. Okay. Huh? This is definitely my room, but the nameplate has Saika's name on it. This is this is Saika's room, but the nameplate has my name on it. The nameplates on the my room and Saika's room were switched. So all that effort I put in the switching rooms without anyone knowing was totally pointless. But why would anyone do that? There can only be one thing in this trash can. It's the DVD. Saika got really upset after what was seeing on was on that. The, she got really upset after seeing what was on that DVD. I wonder what did she see. It might not directly relate to the case, but it might be worth checking out. I'm sorry, Saika. I need to borrow this DVD. I actually do want to see that. Hina, are you investigating the dining hall? Hmm. Oh no, I'm just taking a break. Actually, I've been taking a break since we started. This is all a first for me, you know? I don't have the first clue about what I should be doing. I know what you mean. <laughs> and I don't know why, but being in a dining hall helps me calm. So, I know I shouldn't, but I've been, I've just been kind of hanging around here. To tell the truth, I was doing the same thing last night when Sayaka was killed. What was that again? Wait, was there a reaction thing? <laughs> no. Oh. Okay, that's weird. I know I need to get information from her. Well. There are all kinds of kitchen knives here, big to small, but... Looks like one of them is missing. But was it missing from the very beginning, or... I better see if anyone knows about it. Okay, maybe now I'll get the information I need. Why would she, though, admit to that? Admit to what? Being in here? Yeah. So you know someone with the kitchen knives is missing from the dining yeah, hall? Yeah, totally! Yeah, w weird, huh? I thought it was kind of strange, a knife suddenly disappearing like that. Oh, so it wasn't missing from the beginning? That's right! Nope. Last, last I remember, they were all lined up in a nice, neat row. So when did he notice one of them had disappeared? Well... Well, I went to get some tea from the kitchen last night, and all the knives were still there. But when I finished, my tea went back into the kitchen to wash my glass. One of the knives was gone. So you're saying the knife disappeared while you were drinking your tea in the dining hall? Mm, yeah. In other words, you were right there in the dining hall when someone came and took it, then you should be able to say for sure, you can tell everyone I did not come in the dining hall last night, which proves I didn't take it. Um... Hey, by the way, 
Did you really kill Sayaka? What? Of course not. I would never. Hina, do you really think I murdered her? I mean well, she was killed in your room, right? So, I mean, you guys were supposed to be friends, right? But you still killed her? On the other hand, two people becoming good friends, then one killing the other is a classic drama setup. So, when you consider everything together, I honestly just have no idea. Thanks, Hina. You were a help. I still don't think she did it. Though she was an early bird. You, you, was she? Yeah. I, 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 you obviously have better memory of the details of what happened weeks ago than I do. Yeah. Well, we know I have better short-term memory. Huh? We know I have better short-term memory. Well, I'm sure I consider that short-term. I should be able to use this to see what's on the DVD. The DVD that Sayaka threw in the garbage. I sat down in front of the screen and put the DVD into the player. I pushed play and the screen went dark for a few seconds, but then... An image slowly appeared and looked like some kind of concert. And standing on stage, front and center, was a face I recognized all too well. Saika. She was there, along with her friends she had, had, she had said had been so important to her. But she was positively glowing in front of the crowd, so full of life. Seeing that image made it even harder to accept. That she was dead. My vision started to blur and darken then. The voice that had come to despise began to float out the speakers. Mizono, the ultimate pop sensation, lead singer for a world famous all girl pop band. For these girls, the glowing spotlight only made them that much more beautiful. Suddenly the screen went dark, and in the next moment, I saw something I could hardly believe. What the? Saika had disappeared from the stage, which was now in ruins. But what I noticed even more than that was the figures of all the, all the other girls who had simply collapsed. This ultra successful team suddenly fell apart. None of them will ever perform on stage again. None of them will ever feel the warmth of the spotlight. For Sayaka, there's simply nowhere for her to return to. So here's the billion dollar question. What oh what could have caused the group to go to pieces? That warning, the video cut off. What the hell? That wasn't real, right? They're a super famous pop group. Everyone knows who they are. Is he trying to say he was even able to get to them? If that really did happen, everyone in the outside world must be going crazy. What kind of person would take things this far? Hanokuma, I guess. Well, you wanna oh, talk? Hey, you, you wanna talk to him? Hey, guilty. You, okay, here's something also to realize. Makoto's apparently about waist level for his eye level. It's weird. Listen to me! Do you have a second, Makoto? I've uncovered something most unusual. The door to everyone's dorm has a nameplate on who's to show. Yeah. The door to everyone's dorm has a nameplate on it to show whose room it is, you right? Hear me? Well, it just so happens. Yeah. Wait, no, no, you might be the killer yourself. I can't tell you. Forget it. It's just I said forget, forget, forget. Beam. He wouldn't. He didn't Sorry, even... just a little joke. Even I do joke sometimes. He didn't even <laughs> go upstairs. How would he know? You well, they're standing around. You don't actually know where they've been. Okay. Hey, Chihiro, I was hoping I could ask you something. Uh -huh. Oh, what is it? Before she died, Saika left a message. She wrote out the numbers 11037. Do you have any idea what numbers might mean? Like, could they be a code or something? Mm, um, sorry, no. Shahiro slowly shook her head. Uh, I'm uh, sorry. I I'm sorry, I just don't know. Okay, well, don't worry about it. Thanks anyway for trying. Even, even she doesn't know. Or could she maybe know more than she's letting on? No, couldn't be. There's a sturdy gate here, no way to get past. Monokuma appears! End of the line. The trash room, this is where all the trash in the school eventually winds up. How do you get this no, gate open? No, you can't go any no. All right. no, cleaning no, dude, blah, you... blah, 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 who's uncleaning no, dude? No, blah, you... blah, blah. This is stupid, it's faster to go around and ask the others. No, no, you can't... Yeah, stupid Monokuma, shut up. Cleaning duty. I know who's on cleaning duty too. 
Who's that? Tubby. Did Tubby really do it? Tubby's on cleaning duty. Uh, I just don't like him. I hope um, I'm looking for who's ever on cleaning duty. Mm. Cleaning duty? As a matter of fact, that's me. Why do you ask? It just so happens Monokuma talked to me yesterday and asked me to take care of it. Oh, without someone on cleaning duty, the school would be flooded with trash in no time. So I formally applied for the position. <laughs> I was gonna start this morning, but after what happened, I haven't had a chance to get started. And since you're on cleaning duty, you can open the. And since you're on cleaning duty, you can open the gate in the front of the trash room. Here we go. Of course, it's my job to gather up all the garbage and toss it in the trash room. If you do that, they gave me the key to the trash room mm -hmm. gate. But we're supposed to rotate once a week, so eventually you'll be in charge. Very and that's strange. how you're gonna break. Wait, out. wait, hold on. You're saying I have to clean up trash? No, no, this is unacceptable. You need the key to get in the trash room. The only person on cleaning duty has access to the key. What's the point of going to all that trouble? Why not just leave the trash room open all the time so we can throw away things whenever we want? That does seem more convenient. So in other words, actually, probably a way out. Uh, anyone who kills, blah blah blah. So that's it. That must be why. If anyone could go in and out of the trash room whenever they wanted, then destroying the evidence would be easy. The throw would disappear and things would become boring. Boring? Hey, listen. Anyway, more important than hey, that. You hey, fatty. Why do you want the cleaning duty gig, anyways? Oh. Um... I just decided to volunteer for something I knew no one else would want to do. What's the big deal? You liar! I know why you did it. Is it? Like... You want to dig through all the girls' trash, looking for, uh, you know, <laughs> and a poking around. No what are you talking about? about? All my love is for 2D. Kind of <laughs> you know what I mean. Oh, there's all kinds of trash jiggers like that. Maybe you get tired of 2D, then turn to... I would never get tired of 2D. <laughs> that was pretty fucking adamant. After spending a significant amount of time comparing 2D and 3D, I voluntarily chose 2D. The only 3D, the only thing 3D is good for is to shower love and affection on 2D. Oh, and PVC figures, which is basically like, like, like the plastic figure models. How are you not totally embarrassed to say stuff like that? <laughs> If you're so worried about Hufumi's questionable morality, there's a very easy <laughs> solution. <laughs> Whenever a guy has cleaning duty, Sakura can accompany them from picking up the trash to disposing of it. Hey. What? What? If you're as innocent as you claim, where's the harm in it? <laughs> That's not how it's supposed to... Anyway, on another topic, Hifumi, since you were on cleaning duty, I have a favor to ask mm -hmm. you. Huh, so what, now you suddenly want to join my party? Sorry, but you haven't triggered the flag yet. I mean... I mean, you haven't helped me recover from recover from a past trauma, or save a village, or be the boss. No, nothing like that. I'm just hoping to get into the trash room and look around. You oh, okay. So easy. I hope he did it. <laughs> so, Hufumi and I headed down to the trash. Why? This is a piece of shit. I want him gone. Oh, I don't disagree. <laughs> hmm. Like me, open gate, wouldn't you? <laughs> yeah, but you know, when I look at it, it makes me think. They say he killed his wife. He learned how to get by on the inside, but he never stopped dreaming. Getting busy living or getting busy dying, he said. So him and Rita, they found blah, 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 blah. Whatever, just hurry up. Okie dokie, leave it to me. Pulled all that, and then it opened. Yep, yep, yep. I'm not trying to destroy a... Yep, yep, I don't want to talk to you anymore. You're not saying anything of use anyways. Okay, so this is basically the incinerator room. Yeah. There are shards of broken glass scattered around in front of the incinerator. <coughs> it looks like it used to be some kind of glass ball, just about big enough to fit in the palm of your hand. Is this perhaps... Is that? Do you know what it is? Mm -hmm. They say if you collect all seven, a dragon will appear and grant your single wish. <laughs> it's a dragon ball! <laughs> yep. Oh, and that started recently. I watched the first episode of Super. So, yeah, I heard it was... It was actually, ironically, on um, Facebook's newsfeed. Really? Yeah. Interesting. I was surprised. I still think the Japanese dub sucks, but I think it's pretty good so far. All things considered, that it was not written like nothing happened. This... Uh, yeah. Mm. Uh, uh, kidding aside, this kind of thing you might see in a big city street corner. Gaze into it and show you a glimpse of the future. Just, uh, blah, blah, reference. It's a crystal ball, okay? Yeah, I get what you're trying to say, but who that particular ball belong to? It's only one person it could be. They should still be in the gym, I better go find out for sure. Jatter crystal ball. There's something in the ground in front of the incinerator. It looks like a burnt piece of something. Hmm. A 
burnt piece, like a hunk, like a hunk of burning love? <laughs> He's so helpful, isn't he? Anyway, this is... It looks like a piece of cloth in the shape. It's part of the sleeve from a button-up shirt. Yep, Hitler Youth! And now that I look at it, there's definitely blood on the cuff, which means that this is all that's left of some of the evidence the killer destroyed. Hitler there Youth, are lots then. of people with white button-up shirts. This isn't enough to figure out who the killer is. Oh, but it is. It is important evidence, I will note that. It's Hitler Youth. This is the incinerator. It's way in the back part of the trash room. It's a good 30 feet from here to the gate. And it's on right now. Mm -hmm. Do you see that green and yellow buttons next to the mouth in the incinerator? Yes, indeed. It's a pretty simple setup. You press a green button to get it going and yellow button to turn it off. Sooner or later when you'll be on cleaning duty, so make sure you learn this before you leave, okay? Why? Huh? Someone turned on the incinerator. Very strange. I was quite certain it was off last time I was down here. It Perhaps fairy? it was the work of the fairy. Fumi, do you realize what you just said? <laughs> huh? The fairy? It had to have been him. No, you said the last time you were here, the incinerator was <laughs> off. And he ah. took, it from, took the knife from the kitchen. That makes all the sense in the world. Ah, yes. About that, there can be no mistake. If I got one thing going for me, it's my memory. Yesterday, as, as soon as I was on point, I came down here to check the place out, and it definitely wasn't on then. I've been back to the trash room since then. And since I'm the only one who has a key to open the gate, I thought he said he had never been in here. It should be impossible for the incinerator to be on, and yet. So that means someone was able to switch on the incinerator without opening the gate. That's so bullshit. Monokumo was bot. Monokumo was guarding him. He did it. How He's is that already possible. He's already caught well, him Monok in the Monokuma bot was guarding it by you giving know. by giving a message saying, "No, you can't come in." It wasn't actually anything actually being operated. Hmm. No, here's hmm. the thing, though. Here's hmm. the thing. Hmm. He's already lied to us. He said he's never been here. I don't remember that specific words, but okay. Yeah, he says I've never got. I haven't gotten around to going down there yet. This whole thing is quite strange indeed. No kidding. When I was here last, the incinerator was off, and those glass shards and burnt clothes weren't. <laughs> What's that mean, Mr. Nike? Will you be confessing soon? Why me? Everybody I'm knows sure he did it. it. All the mysteries are being solved one by one. Sounds like he's living out one of his comic book fantasies. Think there shouldn't be anything else after this? Hey, Hero, can I ask you something? Uh, uh, no, 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 I gotta get out of here. I gotta break out of here. I gotta break out of here. Hero, snap out of it. Um, uh huh? Hey, Makota, what are you doing here? What? Um, uh, does this look familiar? Oh, that's my crystal ball. But it's all smashed! What the hell? The heck? I only bought it because the guy said it was blessed. He said it was unbreakable. So how did it break? What? what? Wait, it was actually made of glass? It's not crystal? Did the guy totally dupe me? Ugh. He said it belonged to Pillars of History, Genghis Khan, George Washington, Napoleon! He said whoever controlled the crystal ball controlled the world! Was that seriously all BS? <laughs> um, let's put that aside for now. Can you say without a doubt that this belonged to you? Um... Yeah, that's mine for sure. I probably forgot it in the laundry room last night. Someone must have come by and snatched it. You left it in the laundry room? That means anyone could have found it and taken it. Shattered Crystal Ball has been updated. Thanks, Hero. That's all I wanted uh, to know. Um. Sure. Um. By the way, I'm almost afraid to ask, but how much did you pay for that thing? Uh. Everything I saved up from fortune telling for two full years. <sighs> it came out to be like a million. A million? Uh. Um, That's pretty cheap, actually. I mean, considering it gives you the power to control the world. <laughs> That's just too stupid! I can't even feel bad for him. Well, I guess it's trial time. Yep. There's a menu before. Um, that would so, be a good place uh, to stop I'm getting and take tired a very of short waiting. Break. What say we just get started, hmm? It's time for the long-awaited class trial! Now then, allow me to appoint a proper location for the proceedings. Please go through the red door on the first floor of the school. <laughs> See you soon! The red door on the first floor. That's where I should go. No, where I have to go. Well, what was it, um... How long is the trial? Uh... They're usually, like, an hour or so. And they're fully voiced. So... 
I'll help you through if anything yeah. gets stuck on it. You're late, Makoto. We've all been waiting for you. <laughs> Bet you were afraid you would be discovered as the murderer. You are. Listen to me. Let's not jump to conclusions just yet. Save that for the class trial. <laughs> That's just the funniest statement. Let's yeah. let's jump to conclusions during the class trial. There we can all we can all reveal the details of Makoto's crimes. <laughs> <laughs> so they really are convinced I did it, but. I didn't do it. Me and Sayaka both know that all too well. But then, who is the killer? The one who murdered Sayaka. Is it really one of us? <laughs> is everyone here? Okay then, please board the elevator in front of you, which will transport you to the courtroom, where all your fate will be decided. <laughs> I'll meet you all down there. I'll be waiting. Let's go. Anyone you want to talk to? One last time? No, nah, it's fine. Okay. I don't really know what Hitler Youth or not anymore. I guess I have no choice to get on this elevator. Well, but I don't have a much better guess. Yes, indeed. Blah, blah, blah. Hey. Are you scared? No, scared isn't quite Dakota. right. I said it before. I said it before, but it's up to you to uncover the mysteries surrounding this case yourself. If you don't, you'll never come to grips with the truth. I need to uncover the truth of Sayaka's death. I didn't need someone else to tell me that to tell me to do that. Sayaka's honor, I swear I'll find out who the real killer is. As I raise my voice to try and give myself courage, I turn, trembling with anticipation towards the elevator. With each step, I could feel my heart starting to rate faster and faster. Everyone else was already on the elevator, and when I finally stepped on, the doors closed and the elevator started to move. The steel box descended with a heavy, clunking sound towards the school's basement. I wonder if this is how a death row inmate feels when his time has finally come. Oh. Rather than that, is it not more like a defendant waiting to receive his judgment? Oblivious to our shared anxiety, the elevator lowered us further and further into the bowels of the school. 